ever wonder what the best character is? I have too. And that's the question that we're going to be answering in this video. We're going to be answering the age-old question. Not really age-old, this game's like a year old. What is the best character in the strongest battle yards? We have six categories, ranging from overall damage, to ultimate, to passive, to speed, you know. We may as well start with the first one, overall damage. What character does the most damage? What do I mean by this? I mean, if you used every single move in a base moveset together, how much damage would that do without any M1s? Um, I kind of forgot about Perry first. Let's retry this. Hey, hey! And now I can't do single math. According to my calculations, that's seventy-two percent damage. No, wait. Uh, uh, let me show you. If you go to the strongest by the ground to Wikipedia, then we go down to the characters section. Scroll down a little bit. Right here. Trivia notes. Max damage output without dealing M1s. Pretty much, this already answers our question. The lowest one right now being martial artist. Are they accounting for the new move? That's... I can never hit this move, so let's just hope. Whoa. You guys saw that. Wow. That's actually pretty sad. It does... Uh, I think this also... Uh means the variant of this. Oh, didn't let me do it. This. But honestly, that is not the best for martial artists. But then Destructive Cyborg is just, I used to main this and everybody hates it. Um, keyword I used to, I don't anymore. But I very well could, cause it's very, there's a lot of damage. There we go. So, I'll stop yapping. The first category is goes to Genos in the first place, Garu in second, and Saitama in third. And yes, this is correct. And also, we're going by a point system here. First place gets 10 points, second gets 7.5, and third place gets fifth. So, that instantly starts off Genos at... 10 points, Garu at 7.5, and Saitama at 5. Now we move on to versatility. Pretty much just overall can survive most conditions. Like, if there's a spammer, you can be able to survive that. If there's a, if there's an alt user, fight them. Pretty much uh, it just comes packed and loaded with everything that you need. Which in our first one is gonna be Hero Hunter. Because first, it, it comes with iframes. When you use that move, Nobody can hit you. Same with when you use this move, nobody can hit you. And when you use this move, nobody can hit you. So it comes packed with iframes and three of them moves. Actually, four, Perry's Pearl. Did I just say Perry's Pearl? Perry's Pearl, my bad, okay. And it comes packed with a counter as well, which is legitimately everything you need. The one thing that's lacking is range, because this doesn't hit far, this also doesn't hit far, and this also doesn't hit far. This can counter from far though. But yeah, that's why Garu is our first place for versatility. And our second place is actually going to be my main character. I've been manning it for like two days, but good enough. Blade Master, I love this character. I deeply, deeply love it. I'm giving it the second place spot because again, the versatility. It comes with somewhat of a dodge move. I will show you guys this. We bring out the little bacon hair over here. Let's say he like dashes at us. We can just ignore that, but you you get the You could dodge, boom, 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 boom. This move, quick slice is practically a counter. Um, it also comes with insane range and it like distance, like look at this. I didn't know I'm gonna press that, but look at this. Boom, boom, look how far you can move with this. I believe it's 5.5 studs. One, two, three, uh, 5.5 studs, yeah. And it also comes packed with, in with a counter. Only reason I'm putting Garu above it is because Garu has a buttload of iframes. This does not. You can hit them while they're doing it. 
Can you? I don't know. Also, the moves have a really long and painful startup that's very blockable, like, ugh. Set. Now, why Genos? Genos is crazy. First, it has um, a very easy combo potential here. Like, you can just go machine gun blows. Okay, I messed up. You can go do that, then do your own combo. But what I mean is the range. You can do that, you can do that, and you can do that. Insane movement, so that's why I guess third place well. Anyways, next category. The passive abilities. Do I even have to, do I even have to say this? Like, let's just waste all my moves, oh wait, uh, let's just waste all my moves on this guy, just dump them all out. It kills somebody. You see my moves? Every single one, cooldown, is reset. Boom. That's one of the best combo stars in the game. It starts a little explosion. That's why it gets first place for Then in second place for passive is Garu. Because when it kills somebody, wait, my health isn't really low, but you know, it regens 33% of your health, which is really good. And then a third place is going to be Saitama. Because when you, um, it only requires you to do 200 damage for you to get your ultimate. It doesn't work as well as the dummy. And finishers uh, get it really quick as well. So you do not have to do nearly as much damage to get your ultimate, which is really good. So passive, first place is Geno, Scaru, and Saitama. Now for your ultimate. First place, let me just get this out of the way. It's so brain dead, it's not even fair. Like, it is metal dead. Yeah, it's, it's metal dead, yeah. Let me, let me show you some things it can do. So, um, we have Savage Tornado. Boom, boom, boom. Insane distance, uh, almost half the thing flings them into the air. So they get stunned for a while. That's when you hit Brutal Beat Down, which again, if they were if they were running like away or something, just go right back to them. Then fling them up. This move does 50% of their health. Then strength difference, 65% of their health. You know what it does? Sends them to the moon. Oh no, 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 that's not it. It also has a one-shot counter. This one-shots everybody. When they hit you, it's insane. And also, that's not the last thing. It's on cooldown. And if they saw Deathblow coming and try to run, it smashes you down, dealing 50% health. Nerf this ultimate, please. It's too OP. Anyways, coming in second is going to be Sonic. It's almost as OP, not as excruciatingly as OP. The reason why I'm saying Sonic is because first it has these dashes, which your enemy legitimately basically can't even see you. Like, can you even see me? And then it also has, this move does like 50% of your health. So you can also run through half of the map with this move if you really wanted to, or you could just, I missed that, but like, Carnage, by the way, this move does less damage than normal punch, so technically it's worse than a normal move. This move is insane, like, look at that. Okay, he, he's basically dead. Um, and then third place is Saitama. Do I really even have to explain that? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Now for range, this one is a no-brainer. You guys already know what I'm gonna choose, what I'm gonna be, kinda obvious. Range number one is Genos, cause, you know, don't you think it's a bit excessive moving from there to here like almost instantly? And then also not to mention this. And then also, oh, they got flung way back. Let's just send them one of these. Isn't that a bit much? It has three moves that either move you or have three. Second place is Sonic because of this. And that's all that I really need to show you. And then third place is Wild Psychic because you can fly way over to people. This move is ranged. This move is ranged, and this move is ranged, but they're all blocked, so that's why you get to this one. Genos first, Sonic second, Tatsumaki third. Now for the final category, speed. How fast can one move? Well, I will show you. First one we have, um, uh, 
Why can't I speak? Sonic. I'm going on my phone and I'm searching stopwatch. I'm starting this the second I dash away from this wall. So we can see what is the fastest character. If I'm not mistaken, it's Sonic because that's what I wrote down in my notes. That Sonic is the fastest character and it should be number one. But I tested and Genos and them were like interchangeable. Three, two, one. I don't think Whirlwind Kick gets you that far, so... Or, it only has two mobility moves, but the two mobility moves move you really, really far. Like, insanely, insanely far. Okay, that's, like, I stopped it a little bit late. Whatever is on the screen is the number. But, yeah. Now let's test Destructive Cyborg. The Sonic and Destructive Cyborg were interchangeable for me, but uh, it might be like a few milliseconds or like a second off. Anyways, this one is crazy, has a few mobility moves. Jet Dive sends you further than it should. Okay, uh, the cooldowns are kind of big on Genos though, I won't lie. Um, yeah. We can use Ignition Burst to finish it off. Okay, my bad. We are kind of messed up here. Then, Tatsumaki is third place for speed. I was gonna say it was Metal Bat, then I tested them, and it, it was Tatsumaki. Metal Bat and Tatsumaki are like almost the exact same speed, though. Anyways, I'll show you. Um, this one only has one move, but the move goes really far. Also, it gets almost the same time as Sonic, even though Sonic has two of these moves, which sends you even further than Explosive Push, which I just, my math is not mathing. Okay, I kind of messed up right there, failed second. We can use Explosive Push, and that's 21 seconds right there. That's what I got, at least. Um, so Sonic first place, Genos, uh, second Tatsumaki, third for speed. Now we get on to, um, there's no more categories. We just get on to who wins. So remember, first place is 10 points, second place is 7.5 points, and third place is 5 points. In number one, the best character, according to the test that I did, the number one character is Genos with 42 points. In overall damage, Genos got first. In versatility, Genos got third. In passive, Genos got first. In range, Genos was first, and in speed, Genos was second. That all added up to 42. In second place is Garu with 25 points. Garu got third in overall damage, second in versatility, third in passive, or no, second in passive, my bad. Range, obviously not on there, and speed, obviously not on there. Then in third place was Saitama with 15 points. It got third place in overall damage, third place in uh, passive ability, third place in ultimate, and that was high timers. Yeah, that's the test that I've concluded. Genos is the best, Gar is the second best, high is the third best. But I will still forever use Blade Master. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Holy, I recorded this for 23 minutes. It's gonna be edited down to like 10 minutes. That's what I'm betting.